it's Shell with Creative Shell Bear. Uh, today we are going to attempt to finish the mini album. So let me show you what I've done so far. Okay, we have our little chain clasp that we put on last time. And I really like how this is working. It just seems to work really well. Okay, so we have that on. That works pretty well. And then inside I have done a just a small waterfall just to give us some extra room. So you can go in and you can map the back side. And I probably will, will complete that. But let me just show you the construction of it. We're going to do the same thing on the back. Right here. And you're just going to take a piece of paper, and I just wanted mine just enough to cover um, the tape and just give me a nice border. So mine's about six and, wait, sorry, one, two, three, four, four and three eighths by four and a quarter. So we're just going to glue that down. Okay, so I have my art glitter glue, and I'm just going to cover this with that and we have our double stick tape that I had before that's what's holding down our chain from the back so I am just going to um, remove that and put that put this here just make sure it's straight and then you won't really be able to, you know, tell that that's there. And it gives us another photo mat. Then you're going to cut two more pieces, the exact same size as this. And you're going to score them at a half inch and fold it over. And we're just going to put them at the top. Right up here, just so that we have some more uh, opportunity for photos. Okay, so you just want to line this up really well. Make sure it's really straight. And then just press that down. And there we go. And then I got also got a yellow one. And I just cut it the same size and scored it at a half an inch to fold it over. And this will give us just another small waterfall in this one these are just papers that I had in my stash that I need to uh, use up and I thought you know it's such a small book what a perfect time you know to just use it you have your waterfall okay so let me show you another element that I've done is I have this little slide side um, pocket for photo mat and that way you can go ahead and put a, a picture here if you want and then slide that okay sorry about that I'm not sure where I ended but what I did is I took my corner uh, sticker put it on a piece of paper and cut it out and then I just glued on two edges that way it gives us a little pocket opening for another photo mat so I'm gonna go ahead and make a photo mat for that real quick and I will be right back. Okay, so I have another um, photo mat. See, it fits perfectly right there. Okay, so uh, some of the pages I'm just going to leave blank because I think they make really well photo mats on their own. Okay, so uh, I still have some of these dollar stickers and I just put this one on a piece of paper. And I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of more uh, photo mats but this one's a little bit too large so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it on the diagonal and I'll show you how I'm going to use this one and then I'm just going to put some glue just on the corner and that one edge and leave the one open like we did in the previous one oops and I'm just going to stick it right here And then on the other one, I'm going to pop it on the top one. That way I can use some of the stickers and stuff that I already have. 
but it makes such a big impact and something fun adds to the book I think and then we're just going to put this one just slide it just under there put it right here that way our picture there we go and then when that dries our little photo mat will slide perfectly right in there isn't that a great idea? Okay, so let me show you how I did that one more time. I still have a couple of these stickers left that I would like to use. I'm going to do them a little differently. Okay, let me see what we have up here. Okay, I really like this page. One, two, three. I'll probably get four more out of this if I choose to. Okay, and I have... Okay, so let's leave this one blank. Let's come back and I'll put something here. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half, just straight in half like this, before I put it on my paper and I'll show you why. <clears throat> just got some of my um, paper from the scrap paper. I'm just going to put it in here and then just we're going to cut a border all the way around it. Just a small border. And I wanted yellow to correspond with the um, with that paper. I just think that's really pretty. And this is such a, a neat idea to use up. You know any stickers that you may have and you just want to add a little something to your page and you think oh I have to use it as a sticker but you know just think of it as a different way to use it it kind of opens your thought process and, and see that is so pretty I love that so you could either put it up here and then come back and put another one down here which I think is what I'm going to do but on this one, we're just going to put it on the edge right here. And then we're going to put it right up here on top. And then I'm going to do the other one. And the reason I didn't, you know, do it all together is because I want that border around it. And then we're going to put glue again at the bottom. And then we'll put it on the... Actually, I think I'm going to bring it up, the glue, just a touch give us some, a little bit more stability when I put them together. I'm just going to kind of, you know, estimate where it goes. I'm going to come back in here and just put just a touch more. Not to glue it all the way down, just to leave, you know, a little bit of an opening. Okay, so I got those two glued down and then I made a little photo mat so that just goes in like that and gives us a little bit more room. Perfect journaling spot or, you know, more photos. Okay, and I have one over here where the pocket's totally blank and I wanted to go ahead and put something else over here. And I have one of the little doilies left. So I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to put it down here at this corner and then just leave a big opening. And I'll show you how I do that. It's real similar to all the rest of them, so it's not anything you haven't already seen. But again, I'm just using some of my um, scraps over here. I think I'm going to go with the red. And then we're just going to cut around it. Okay, and I got that cut out. So I'm just going to stick it down here on the side. And we're just going to put glue here and here. So just on two sides to leave the one side open. That'll be perfect. Little pocket. 
kind of fun to use things in ways, you know, that they're not necessarily intended for. So that's kind of fun. Okay, and then we're just going to put another little spot right there. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put that one, but I think I'm going to put it on pink. Just to kind of give it a little bit more dimension. So I'm just going to glue this down and cut it real quick. And um, all these mats are so different, so... You know, I just do, you know, my own size. I can give you my measurements if you need them. But in this particular thing, it's just, I just need all different sizes of mats. So I'm just doing what works for me. So that's what you'll need to do. And then I'll just cut this down. And we have a perfect little mat. Isn't that cute? Okay, so let's look at it again. I'll show you from start to finish. I left this blank and I'll probably put a sentiment or um, just maybe just a picture there. Here's my um, first waterfall. And then what I did is I went back to my mats and I matted them on, on both sides with just some cute little polka dot paper. And then our little pockets. And then we used our little stickers right there. And I think that is so cute. Okay, I must say I really like that. Okay. Here's another blank spot for another picture. And here's another sticker that we used as a corner. And another one. And then we use these just as a little... Um, journaling mat or another photo and each one of these have the um, photo mats inside and then had another open spot and then this one that we did on the diagonal and I really like that one I think that's really cute okay and our last waterfall so I'm gonna get some stuff and we will can um, complete the decorating and I will show you how I'm going to com complete the front of the book. If I can get it to turn over here. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I went and I pulled a bunch of stuff from my stash and I'm going to work on the front cover first. Let me show you what I've already done on here. Of course I have my latch and then I put on little corner, uh, metal corner embellishments. And I got these from uh, G's Metal Embellishment Emporium, and I'll put a link for you on that. And I got quite a quite a bit of, bit of what I'm using today. I got from him, and I want something on each of these chains just to kind of give it a little, um, you know, just so that they're not just plain old chains just sitting there. So I have this little leaf that I got, and I think I got this from Fire Mountain. Uh, so you're just going to twist and I got some jump rings so I just twisted that I don't know though that this will fit in there let me try this other one okay this one will work and I'm just gonna attach it and then just twist it back just something just to kind of dress it up so that it doesn't you know, isn't just a, just a plain chain. See, it just kind of adds a little something. And then I have like this little um, flower, and this was also just in my stash. And I just have all these jump rings that I'm just using. I'm going to hang this one on this chain. There we go. So, okay, we've got the chains done. Just a little something, you know. 
have a little tear right here that I really want to cover up. So I've been trying to you know, figure out what I want to use to cover it up. I don't want it to be too big. I think I'm going with this little bumblebee. It's not too big. It will kind of cover it up and it kind of adds a little something to it. So it kind of has a little texture on the back of it. So it's not really um, um, sitting flat. So it's really not adhering like it needs to. So I'll warm up my hot glue gun. We'll go ahead and decorate around that. That way too, that will guarantee pretty much that that's going to stay put. Okay, and I have some ribbon. Just went through my stash. <laughs> my stash is really huge. But it's dwindling. Time to buy more stuff. Just kidding, I said that for my husband's benefit. <laughs> I'm just going to tie this just to give us a little bit of a bow on the rim. I don't do a whole bunch of ribbon. I just like just a little bit, you know, just something to give it a little something. That's really cute. You can just make it just a touch smaller if you want. Isn't that cute? I like that. Okay, so then I have some other stuff that I was just going to kind of play with. I have a really big butterfly that I really like. I kind of like, like her right there. And let me show you what I'm going to do with her. I think I'm going to go ahead and use her. And let me go get something else and I'll be right back. Okay, let me show you what I found. I found these decorative accent leaves. I think those are really cool and they're kind of in my color scheme so I think I'm going to use those. I think I'm just going to hot glue them down. Let me show you what I'm going to do. Let me go ahead and hot glue my bee down. I think bees go with flowers. Again, if you make a mistake, you know, it just makes room for a design element. There we go. See, isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, so I really like these little flowers. I'm just going to um, kind of form like just a little circle with them. I really like them over the pink. It kind of tones down the pink and kind of brings out the yellow a little bit. Okay. And then I'm thinking about using this butterfly. I think I will. I think that's really pretty. But I want to put something on the body of it. So let me go through my um, stash over here. Let's see, I have these little. Okay, guys, I finished the decoration. I just want to show, do, do a quick run through of what we did. Uh, I put the little leaves here and then a butterfly that I put some bling on and some little pearls to emulate the um, antennas and then my leftover chain to give us some room to grow. I put some little charms on there and then some bling and a little bee and then we're just going to open it up like this. Let me show you what's in here. Isn't that sweet? I love that. I got these butterflies from G's um, Metal Embellishment Emporium. And again, I will put the link to that at the bottom of the video. Isn't that adorable though? I love these butterflies and they're perfect with my, um, all my flowers. See, I have another one over here. Isn't that sweet? And then I just had some bling coming down from the butterflies to show kind of like in the direction they were flying. And then here's one that I put a lock and a little tiny key I got from that G's uh, Metal Embellishments. And then I had some of those leaves left over, so I put the leaves here with a little bit of ling. And I put a little button there. And then I had this really metallical uh, sticker 
flower and I thought that goes perfect there with a little bit of bling and then this is our photo card and everything again has the little photo mat where it's matted on both sides and then I had some frayed edges so I just covered them up with some little silver flowers and another butterfly with some bling another photo mat and then I just kind of put just some little crystals all on this one little pink ones and some yellow ones on this one and another flower and on this one I put inspire just hung it from the cord that we have and a little butterfly with some more crystals and then I just kind of decorated this one up just a touch um, my fray was right here so I kind of balanced it out and put another one here so it looks like it you know I planned it that way and then on this one I just used the rest of those flower or the rest of the leaves and I just put a little bit rest of the leaves and a little bit of crystals on there so I think it turned out really cute so whoever gets this or if I decide to keep it I think you know I think it's a really cute album and I think you know it will bring joy for years to come so thank you guys so much for watching um, and we're finally done with this so um, we will start some more projects soon thank you guys for watching you guys have a great day